I'm here with the fantastically uniformed Team Oakland who've turned up for the day. Good to see you all, chaps. Thank you very much. What, what are you here for? What are you expecting? Free lunch. <laughs> Good to see you, lads. What, what are you expecting from today? The big Stop reveal. Yeah. The big the reveal. reveal. Great to see you here. What are you expecting from today? Uh, to find out exactly what's going on with EdgeTech over going, going forward. Chris, uh, you're a fairly frequent visitor to EdgeTech. Indeed. Um, yeah. It's good to see you here today. Notice anything different? Well, we're standing in a car park, which is not, well, never been your car park in the past. Ah. So I imagine there's potentially a, a new building about to be unveiled. I don't want to ruin anything, but... Notice anything different today? Uh, yeah, I think there's another factory just about to be unveiled, but I think I'm And that, you've actually put a, a green tie on for one, so yeah, that's the first thing. Please, this isn't church, <laughs> so could you come forward a little, please, so we don't have to shout here? And I'm very pleased to be here today to attend the opening of the new premises of EdgeNet Limited. I think it's time that we unveil the... <laughs> Given that there's food in here and you're anxious, please do not rush. We have bouncers here to keep you away from here. Uh, all I want to say very briefly is whoever that car company is on the other side of the road, watch out, we're expanding. <laughs> Good afternoon everybody. Welcome. But oh, really it's welcome to our new building. I hope you found that a surprise. It's great that everybody could spend the time to come. And it is actually the official opening of our of our new facility. And it's really exciting times for EdgeTech UK. Hi, I'm John Stark, I'm the Works Manager. Safety is paramount in our business. And once you completed that, we'll go through to the PPE area and I'll get you out with PPE. Um, I'm going to take you through uh, uh, Quanex and a little bit about the history. I don't expect to take much more than an hour, so just sit back and relax. <laughs> We're excited to be here. As Bill said, we're going to continue to invest in this market and in MIG. And, you know, I'm pretty excited about what that next space or opportunity may be. We're going to be bringing out some exciting new stuff and uh, we'll be sharing with you soon. Uh, we provide market intelligence for the uh, UK glass and glazing industry. Um, so we track what's happening amongst fabricators, installers, uh, steel unit manufacturers and, and, the, and the building industry uh, in general. ladies have decided that they will do a 120 mile cycle, a hundred miles canoeing and then top it all some outside. Why we want to use this charity this year, clearly it's a fantastic charity in itself but clearly from our point of view Charlotte is, is heavily involved and the charity is Hope House and they support children who have uh, life-limited illnesses. I'm looking forward to the evening, Alan. It's been a lovely day so far. I think today has been fantastic. I think the, uh, the turnout really reflects that. Um, a lot of good feedback following the presentations. It was a, uh, lots of people have come up and, and said, thank you, well done. So 4,400 miles. Yes. Was it worth it? It was definitely worth it. It was a great venue, great uh, outing for the customers. Uh, 
the, the building, the new building looks great uh, and it gives you so much more opportunities for growth. I have had a fantastic day, as always, with EdgeTech. I had a lovely day, thank you very much. Did you, did you find it interesting? Yeah, I was um, quite amazed to be quite honest with you. George, how do you feel the day went? I thought the day was wonderful. I mean, uh, it was great to recognize our customers for, for working with us uh, for all of these years, making a commitment to Superspacer, growing their business on that product line, and then realizing what we're trying to do going forward in terms of uh, new product development, quality improvements, and, and expanding the space in, in the UK. Once again, thank you very much for supporting EdTech today. Your support over the years is really, really appreciated. <coughs> On behalf of Bill, George and I, we'd like to thank our customers, our suppliers and our employees, past and present, for all the hard work and dedication they've given to EdTech.